Now, you mentioned uh, Future Dog House. Correct. Uh, the brand ambassador of this all-seeing, all-knowing brand <laughs> um, has dived in something of a, of a fiction. Uh, yes. So in producing QP, uh, I've, I, I get bored easily. Uh, sure. I'm a bit, uh, uh, you can say, uh, attention deficit disorder. Uh, you know, I wish I was hyperactive, but uh, definitely I do have attention deficit disorder. Uh, I'm surprised I'm, you know, even following your questions. No, we're doing well. Yeah, but... Eye contact. <laughs> but more importantly, uh, so we were producing questions for, uh, for medical students, but I got bored and I started as a uh, as a as an exercise. I started writing uh, vignettes. Vignettes are stories uh, that uh, are created uh, with a patient uh, symptoms and sort of like a, a real world example. A real world for, example for for say a business student. This will be like a case study, something Correct. like this. Correct. And uh, but of course short because these are multiple choice questions and you are timed. Uh, to answer these qu uh, questions quickly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I got so used to doing this that I started doing this as, a, as, a, uh, as an exercise, uh, but I also uh, am uh, a, a fan of uh, House MD, okay, hence Future Doc House. Right, because, uh, yeah. because a lot of these vignettes actually seem to lay the foundations of a lot of House episodes. Correct, correct, but uh, unfortunately House MD is a bit unrealistic and uh, I, I, I have to write my vignettes more realistic, you know, we can't, we can't, you know, attempt to save the patient by killing the patient 10 times before we figure it out. No, of course, there is. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I did this exercise and I, of course, imagined uh, uh, colleagues that would help me diagnose these patients and, uh, and go through this exercise. And from there, uh, I sprouted a novel. And this novel, uh, to make it uh, unique and different, uh, I added a bit of a spy thriller uh, to it. Well, the, uh, a spy thriller is one way of saying it. I would, okay. I would call it an understatement because what we have are multiple levels uh, carrying within this because yes we do see that you're translating your knowledge of the medical community here in this in this uh, fictitious portrayal of yes. Future Doc House. Um, would you say that maybe it's a reflection of what you do of what you embody? Uh, <laughs> Bit of a deep question. It is it is um, I mean to to write a, a spy thriller is is not easy uh, and uh, uh, to be honest, if, uh, if you asked me 10 years ago to write a spy thriller, it, it, I would say it's impossible. I never left the States. Uh, but through my medical uh, education, I, I was in Prague and from Prague, I was able to travel all over Europe. Uh, Barcelona, Ibiza, uh, Paris, Amsterdam, I mean all over Europe uh, and experience the rich culture that Europe has to offer. Uh, and and uh, through through this uh, experience, uh, uh, even visiting England and of course studying in Antigua, which is was a British colony, uh, driving on the wrong side of the road, uh, uh, it was it was a rich experience. And from this sure. rich experience, I was able to really dig deep into my imagination and create this uh, fictitious, uh, say James Bond character. Uh, out of this, 